The UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab has condemned what he called the bullying actions of Myanmar's military leaders at the country's embassy in London after its military attaché took over the building and locked the ambassador out. Kwaswa Min spent the night in his car saying he was told he was no longer Myanmar's representative. Myanmar's military seized power in a coup on February the 1st, triggering weeks of protests and escalating violence. A community leader speaking earlier on behalf of the ambassador said that he had stopped following the orders of the Myanmar foreign ministry in March. He has been meeting with many diplomatic counterparts and Myanmar community to discuss the current situation in Myanmar, hoping to find a peaceful solution. Due to his stand, the Myanmar embassy in London has been seized by the military attache yesterday evening, the, the ambassador has been locked out since then. There was a coup in Myanmar in February, now in a similar situation in central London. And the BBC's Charlotte Wright has more on the events earlier from outside the Myanmar embassy in central London. Quite extraordinary, really. When I got here this morning, the ambassador, or the former ambassador, Chor Swa Min, uh, was in his car, just parked outside the embassy, and told me that he'd been sleeping here all night. That's after he tried to get in last night and couldn't. So he just parked up here and went to sleep in the car. Now, this morning, he, um, a member of the community, uh, a spokesperson for him, delivered a statement on his behalf after it has been announced that his position as ambassador has been terminated. He's been ambassador here since 2014, was appointed, of course, by Aung San uh, Suu Kyi, um, and has supported her, publicly called for her release. Um, of course, she was arrested by the military in their coup on the 1st of February. But that call um, has clearly not gone the way that he was hoping. Now, in the statement today delivered by a community leader on his behalf, he just stood um, just outside the embassy um, behind as that was going on. The statement called on the UK government to continue to reject the unlawful military regime in Myanmar, um, asking the government to refuse to work with the new ambassador uh, nominated by the military council in Myanmar. Charlotte Wright reporting.